Welcome back to Plague Size Studios, friends. Today we'll be demoing what has to be the most hipster product to date on this channel. I think that's saying something with some of the stuff we've uh, we've looked at in the past. So I'm gonna be trying out the Dragonheart pick. So on the last installment of Shit You Need, we talked about triangle picks, my rekindled love for triangle picks for eight string guitar. These are some Dunlop Tortex uh, one millimeters. And you know, I like multiple brands of triangle picks, but the reason I like them so much is because you wear one side down, you can go to the, the, uh, the other side and I get a pretty good tone out of it for extended range stuff. And some of you didn't quite believe me that I wear out a pick in like six weeks. This is what I mean by wear out, and I'm sure that the camera is not going to pick it up with that focus. Um, this is a usable pick for six strings, but for eight strings, it's just dead. It grabs the string, it sounds flubby, it's pretty terrible. Someone uh, recommended to me early on that I try out these Dragon Heart picks, and I got two or three more comments that said it, so I said, ah, what the heck, I'll check them out. Come to find out, they're $12 a pick. <laughs> Uh, now, $12 for a pack of six is pushing it for me, and I think some of these prime tones that I also like for eight string work are pretty expensive, you know, for a guitar pick, uh, about $250, $1.50 to $250, that sort of uh, range. Growing up on essentially the cheapest 0.7 to 1 millimeter picks I could find with texture and moving between different brands throughout the years, I never really considered the guitar plectrum as a necessary part of uh, your guitar rig to achieve ideal tone until more recent years. Um, so back then, I would have never considered spending more than a dollar on a pick, let alone 12 bucks. But I figured, hey, there's gotta be a little bit of uh, truth behind the hype. So I ordered a couple of them, and I uh, guess we'll talk about what makes them different, demo it, see what kind of sounds we can get out of it. Immediately, you'll notice the strange shape of the Dragon Heart that earns it its moniker. So you have three different size to play with. You have kind of a more traditional pick shape that's a little bit less of an attack angle than something like a traditional pick, but a little bit more than a triangle pick. You have a rounded side, and then you have what I would refer to as an ice pick. Extremely high angle that uh, kind of looks like it's going to dig at the strings a little bit. This is classified as a two and a half millimeter thickness, but what's interesting is it actually comes down to a point, as if you were looking at the profile of a sword on uh, the edge there. So you're gonna get a bit different attack than something that's just purely flat and square uh, or slightly rounded off like most guitar picks would be. And apart from an etched out dragon logo and the word hardened on the back, this may seem like just another gimmick pick until you see what it's made out of. So this is a mixture of, I believe, 30% uh, fiberglass and graphite. And this is the hardened variant. There are a couple different grades, I guess you could call it, of Dragon Heart picks, all within a fairly similar price range though, so I opted for the top end. And this pick supposedly guarantees 1,500 hours of playtime. And you average out about an hour of playtime a day for me, which is probably a little low, um, but you know, some days I don't play at all, there's other days I'll play for three hours. Um, that would roughly come out to be four years and some change uh, of continuously using the same pick. Now, I don't know if that's one side, if that's wearing out all sides, I don't know. If this thing lasts for two years, even a year, I would still probably be ahead of the game in terms of what I spend on other things. Now, it doesn't matter if it doesn't sound good, but um, that's what really interested me. Uh, a lot of people were saying that they've been using theirs for a long time, longer than that, and um, still works great for them, sounds great for them. The downside of that is if you lose this pick, you're screwed. You're out 12 bucks. So um, there is a little bit of uh, reliability in having some backups, but I, I had to try it. I had to try out the claims for myself. Obviously, being a first impressions video, I won't be able to tell you if it lasts for that long. You'll have to read reviews and that sort of thing. But um, according to what I've read, the claims seem to be rather true. So if we can get a good sound out of it. Um, this will be a welcome addition to my fleet of picks, although I highly doubt, given um, just the few moments I've tested this thing out, that it will be replacing everything. Um, primarily trying this on extended range stuff. I'll try it on a six string and uh, try it on an acoustic guitar as well, and we'll see what we can make it sound like. So before I go full dork mode with headphones for superior listening ability, uh, let's just try this thing acoustically and see if we can hear some differences. So let's start off with a prime tone uh, Dunlop 0.96 millimeter. See what that sounds like.
Let's see if we can hear a difference on the uh, Tortex triangle pick. A uh, little less sharp attack from what I can tell, a little more clicky, which is to be expected with that sort of thing, but got a good attack on the lower strings in my opinion. Uh, now see the sharp edge of the Dragon Heart. They're not necessarily the sharpest edge, but the sharp edge compared to the round corner. <laughs> and you talk about digging, that thing digs. I mean, it feels like you're taking a rock. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever had the privilege of playing a real tortoise shell pick. Uh, there's a reason that guitar picks have, you know, the traditional looking guitar picks are called tortoise shell because they used to make guitar picks out of tortoise shell. And uh, it kind of feels like that. It's, they're, they were really thick and just dragged. Um, they sound like crap, though, to tell you the truth. Um, playing through low gain, clean amp, you know, back in the day, it really didn't matter all that much. But our plastic composite picks have a lot better tone than uh, what those did. And uh, this kind of has that feel, but it doesn't sound the same. It sounds more lively, so uh, at least acoustically. So let's see what that translates to in the electric world. Rhythm playing, I think I prefer the triangle pick there. Now see, Dragonheart does. Let's try the rounded side. <laughs> it's like playing with a quarter uh, in the ice pick. Yeah, um... I think it's more in the feel than the sound on this because of the way they're all rounded off to a point. Um, definitely some difference on the rounded side, but between these two, it's a bit harder to tell on chords and if you attack in a similar manner, but this has more potential to get a, uh, I guess, more gravelly sound. It just has um, more contact with a string for a longer period of time, so it's, it's different. See what we get clean, uh, going back to the prime tone. Triangle pick. Dragon Heart sharp side. And the ice pick side. I'm really struggling with control on that sharp side. Perhaps it'd be better that way. I've been trying to play it down. Um, obviously you do want your pick angled this way if you were going to play angled. Um, I hold my pick like a caveman anyway, so there may be some more incompatibilities with this than you'll experience. So an electric guitar, it looks like it's going to come down more to feel than actual sound. And I can't tell you which one is better or worse for you. Personally, I think it, uh, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I really like the attack and the overall playability of it. 
on the thicker strings, whether I'll like it for leads and shreddy stuff, uh, who knows. But for just get a little bit of a different vibe going, let's uh, try out some acoustic stuff as well. Also starting with the uh, prime tone. So I play parts of that a little slow and exaggerated to highlight something I think is pretty cool and you can kind of hear it on the attack. It's almost a metal on metal sound. It's not something you get with these picks. Um, I would think it would sound closer to this acoustically, but it sounds more like that except sharper and again metallic. Yet on electric it kind of sounds more like this. It gets that digging attack, um, yet you get that clickiness with this, which may not be wanted. Um, personally, I would definitely take this pick acoustically because it's a very quick, you know, snap attack. You're done. This kind of drags and again, gives it a more metallic sound, which may work for you again. Um, but yeah, for me, I don't think this thing's gonna fly acoustically. It's it's a very cool feel. Feels like you're gliding through it more than attacking and lifting up the strings. Unfortunately, I'm smacking the shit out of this body as well, so um, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Finally, let's get some chugs going on a six string and uh, back to acute listening mode. Well, I can say one thing with uh, almost certainty is uh, this pick, due to its thick nature, will equalize the sound of thin guitar strings a little more than uh, other picks will, but it is definitely not lenient on actually playing them on uh, you know lower tunings, that kind of stuff. It's probably not a huge deal for most of you out there, but like on my SG, I've got a fairly light uh, set of strings on a low C standard tuning to kind of get the Tony Iommi bend and uh, general playability and uh, this ain't gonna, gonna fly i feel like i'll probably be sticking to traditional picks on that but honestly um i i like it more than i figured i would i thought this would kind of be a one and done use it on a video uh, talk about it and put it away on a shelf somewhere but i think i can see myself using this on extended range stuff um, it might take some getting used to to actually use for leads but uh, I hate to say it, but I actually like this really hipster and <laughs> niche, what I thought was gonna be a stupid product at first. So um, yeah, maybe if there's enough interest in this video, I'm thinking of doing like a full pick shootout to see what kind of tone and um, playability difference there is. If you'd like to see something that's a little more highly produced than this, let me know um, and we'll put it on the schedule. But um, you know, I figured this would be a quick first impressions glance at Take a look at the uh, the Dragonheart pick line. Hopefully in the future, perhaps not quite 1500 hours of playtime in the future, but uh, be able to give you a bit more of an informed opinion. And if I like it enough, it'll probably show up again on some video later down the road talking about it. Uh, but for now, I think it's a cool product, cooler than I thought it would be. Gives you a little bit of variation and feel and sound on gentier, uh, lower tuned stuff. For standard guitars and six string acoustics, I would probably stay away though. Um, not really necessary to change up from a traditional pick for a traditional sound. Um, but I think it's a cool piece of gear and 
I look forward to getting used to it a bit more. I don't know what it is. I don't really have uh, a mental block with uh, paying a fairly significant price tag for something like an amplifier or a good guitar, but 12 bucks for a pick <laughs> is a mental hurdle for me, um, mainly because they're just so easy to use or you know mess up. But with this being graphite and uh, glass resin, hopefully I'll be able to keep up with it a little better and it won't be uh, destroyed nor wear out quite as easy as some of the other stuff I've experienced as an eight string player. So uh, yeah, quick little first impressions. Be sure to uh, let me know if you wanna see a more detailed, thorough pick shootout. I've got a bunch of stuff um, already, but you know if I have to order some more picks for said video, I probably wouldn't mind trying them out anyway. Um, I, again, I don't think I could recommend this to most people, but it's uh, cool to have if you're an extended range guitar player and you go through picks regularly like I do on your lower strings. So pretty cool. And uh, we'll be sure to check back in. My opinions change drastically from that. So thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you soon with uh, more shit you need. Maybe this will uh, show up on it. So thanks for watching. Bye.